Hey there, my name is Tobin Carpenter and I'm an MSP consultant at Profile Technologies. Today, I want to go over how to automate a procedure through a policy. Let's get into it. In my last video, I created two views to show machines that are in the compliant and non-compliant status with their Windows 10 build versions. Today, I will show you how to use the non-compliant view in a policy to schedule a recurring procedure that will update Windows 10 to the latest build. The principle shown here can be used with any view and any agent procedure, not just Windows 10 updates. First thing we're gonna do, let's navigate to policy management. Let's navigate to policies. Select the folder that you wanna create the policy in. Select add policy from the top. Give your policy a name. For this one, I'll do Windows 10 upgrade. Select OK to create, and then select the policy itself once the screen loads. Now we can see we have the name and description here. First thing we need to do is we need to select a view. We're going to use the Windows 10 non-compliant view. And the beauty of using this policy with this view is that as machines fall in and out of this view, they will automatically be applied with this procedure. So if you add a new a new computer to your VSA and it's running 1909, it will automatically fall in, in line with this view and will apply this policy to the machine. So let's select our agent procedure, add procedure, locate your procedure in your library, select it and select add. By selecting on it, you can either remove or you can edit the procedure. So let's go ahead and click edit. And you have a couple different options here for your recurrence. You could do it once, you could do it daily, weekly. We're gonna do weekly. We're gonna make sure that the schedule is based on the time zone of the agent. That way, if, the, if it's set to run at midnight and the server is in a different time zone, it will still run at midnight on the computer itself. We're also gonna set our distribution window. I'm gonna set it to 60 minutes. This can vary depending on what the procedure is doing and how many computers you have in your environment. If you have a large amount of computers, you may want to push this distribution window out even more. So let's go ahead and we'll do every one week on Wednesday night. I'm gonna do no end date to this because I want this to be perpetual. I want this to continue as machines are added and removed from the environment. I'm also gonna do skip if offline for this one. And the reason being is because this Windows 10 procedure is going to cause the computer to reboot. It's going to take some time. I don't want that to queue up when the computer is turned on. If I uncheck skip if offline, the procedure will be queued. If I have skip if offline checked, the procedure will not queue. It will check to see if that machine is online at that time. And if it is not, it will not queue that procedure to the computer. Let's go ahead and select schedule. Then at the top, we're going to do save and apply. All right, let's select apply now. Okay. And then we need to put this policy into our org and machine group so that it can be assigned. So let's go down to assignment, organization, machine groups. And I'm gonna put this in the global organization because I do want this to be applied on every computer in the, uh, in the VSA. You could put this in a machine group or in a organization level if you wanted to, but for this purpose of this procedure, I want this to apply to all computers and I wanna make sure that all of these machines are being updated as much as possible. So let's go ahead and expand our folder, select the policy that you've created, and let's drag it over to global. So there's our policy right here. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this gets pushed to the machines that it's to be applied to. So let's select machines. And here's the machines that fall into that view. Let's go ahead and right click, reprocess policies. Give it just a moment. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that when you select the machine, you wanna make sure that you're seeing that policy that you created down here under assigned to this machine by association with organization slash machine groups. And this is how you will know that it's being automatically pushed to these machines. And that's it for today. 
Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge in VSA. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProValtech.com or the link in the video description below.